today we have a prep team meeting with the uh, NHAS, Northern Ireland Historical Air Show Society. And in a week or two's time we're going over to England to do air softening. I'll be photographing and filming them at the event. But today we're going to go with some preparations and uh, make sure everybody knows what they're doing and what to expect when we go over. Right now I'm on the bicycle. And I'm going to find William and Michael. <laughs> we all, I think we all kind of slapped in. That was the meeting point to Red Bridge. No doubt I've missed them. Alright. It can't be that far. This is totally illegal. But nobody really gives a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Love going down hills. You got a ride? No. <laughs> I says we got we got here early. Wish we did get away. <laughs> no, I don't. What type? <laughs> Hi. Hey there. I know it is. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> phone him. <laughs> well, I'll phone him and knock his doors and windows. <laughs> he's the right guys. Hi. Damn, I put a uh, H instead of a W, so it's he's are all here. <laughs> Wait, what'd you put? Now he looks like the window all, naked. He's are all outside. He's are all outside. I'll send him a top of selfie of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Precious. It's a rainbow battalion. <laughs> oh. Chris. Come <laughs> here. Look at him in his wee slippers. Look at him. <laughs> There's not even a bed in there. <coughs> He's just eating by himself. <laughs> He's dropping it all on the ground. I know my mum says, did you refocus the stock? Um. Gerald is sponsoring the society and has given us 50,000 rounds of ammunition. Yeah. Which scared the shit out of the port authorities whenever I told them when they asked me how many rounds of ammunition are going. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I said 50,000 rounds. <laughs> they freaked out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you tell them it's airsoft? I did, but they don't understand what airsoft is. Oh, yeah. This is PO. I went with stem line all the time. Oh, yeah. This is PO. So they have a different procedure. I had to fill out a power certificate, which took me ages. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had to individually label each and every single gun. Yeah. I had to also individually say how many of what's going. So um, when they asked me how many rounds were going, my biggest heavy machine gun this, like machine gun three, the SMLE, so the, two Colts, three Webleys, and two Mauser C96 Brunettes. <laughs> but anyway, the photographs are we're going to do a bit of a photo shoot of the stuff that we're bringing over right. uh, outside yep. uh, after we've done everything else. Uh, but we're not posting anything on social media until after because I don't want the guys in England to get wind of how much we're bringing. Yeah. They have no idea. They think we've got a couple of these on the Vickers and that's it. That. They don't think we're so going to So they don't know how much of an arsenal is going. So this video here doesn't go up until after? Right? No, not until okay. after. No. That's right. Um, simply because we're trying to keep things uh, secret because they have no idea this exists. That it is coming. <laughs> Which I still have to finish. I have to stain the stuff. It's not done. Yeah, that's All right. Done. But it is up in fire and working. Gunner and loader get a size on each of the rifle. So they do. So I'm reading the end. Okay. Do it first. Ah, you definitely. Yeah, both been split into two halves. Yeah. So if it happened, you're protecting me from behind. You're protecting me from behind. Well, hopefully they'll be coming behind. This is a trend. Oh, but I was. After all, we're technically in our own pieces, so. Yeah, so you'd be okay that way. Now, so like England trips and stuff, that'd be a beneficial def designated snipers. As snipers were automatically mouthpiece and goggles. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. What about it for down here? Yeah, yeah. should it be okay. Yeah. <coughs> snipers in England tend to go for headshots. Right. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> This is what each person is responsible and needs to get. Yeah. And most of it we will go and attempt to get today. Yeah. So it's very snarky goggles, uh, iPro, and um, Mouth Pro. Um, I have um, both of those, but mine are the bigger one. We're going away for three days, so normally I always say underwear and socks for each day. Yeah. Just in case. 
All I'm saying is, don't turn up with a t-shirt like this underneath your uniform because if you have to take it off, then it ruins the whole immersion of the game because these guys have got this setup period themed. And and what they've described, a Facebook and YouTube video. There's nothing in sight in the background to, to actually show that. It's more you know, you were talking about some of the few things that they were doing with the changes. Right, folks. They've done most of the digging, but don't want to sign it. Sorry, folks, this is going to take me so long, and we've got a lot to do. And the ferry leaves at four sharp. And I say four, I mean it's so already locked up. So right just to be safe, everybody here for like ten and a half, nine? No, no. Well, that's way too early. No. Twelve, midnight. Yep. Here at yes. twelve. So that was really going around ten. Wow. No, because well, if we were arriving here at 12, okay, we'd have to take simple. <laughs> leave, I'll, I'll listen, leave. listen, okay. listen. Leave your houses, yeah. okay, at 11.15 p.m. on Friday and come here. You will be here for 12 midnight, which is 0, 0, 0, 0. And there's a high chance I'll be able to get you a lift. Okay, yes. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Everybody's going to make their way to here, yeah. and then we embark and leave. I'm so not going to go pick people up. Then? No. It's essentially you make your way here. I'm not picking people up simply because we'll finish packing the car because we'll go over the inventory what's in the car and then we leave because once we leave this house I go pick people up I'm not coming back to the house. And you're all going to take a bag and then I'm going to write your name on it and chuck that is your bag for the duration of the trip. In terms of bringing clothes with you don't pack too much silly clothes because there's no point because yeah. you're traveling yeah. over one day, um, you're in your military uniform for an entire day, and on the trip back, that's it. Yeah. So there, there's no point packing a pile of clothes and nice shirts and things, because you're not going to the Ritz or going to a fancy okay. restaurant. The most you'll get to is a trailer park pub. <laughs> Literally with a bill table. So you're not dressing up because you're not going to be picking up a 60 year old woman from Benador. Fuck. Okay. So, <laughs> did you say all of them? No, I said fuck. <laughs> <laughs> his hopes dash. Or, or in Jamie's case, a 60 year old man from Benbrook. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? With a really bad fake tan or the yeah. burn marks, whatever I used to think. But anyway, the point is, you aren't doing that, so there's no point. Uh, that, that's as far as it's going, okay? Because um, we're literally being pulled. Think of it as we are reserves. We're being pulled over. Yeah. There to do a job, hold the line. Beat the shit people and then come back here. Yeah. And that's it. And it shouldn't be too hard for us to stay up there. You know, so. Well. And if we accidentally bring our real gas here. You know. <laughs> real weapon. <laughs> anyway. Sure you want. Okay. Now, today for the weapons, I want to go through maintenance with you yes. and how to look after them. Everybody's going to get training in the rifles uh, with the sidearms. Okay and with the Lewis gun loading and all the rest, okay? Because everybody needs to be proficient on how to use them. And I'm going to be setting up targets in the back garden yep. on an airframe, like proper shooting targets, nice. and for you to actually deal your mark marksmanship on, okay? And also to zone in on the, of the uh, hop-ups or anything. It needs to be washed. It's got a weird tinge to it, but that's always, you know. I wouldn't worry. Uh, really it needs new CO2. Yeah, it's not fire at all. Is there a CO2 cartridge in it? Yeah, there is, but it's white. Oh, it's got a left on it as well. I didn't realise. Okay, so sitting in my mum's house, you say? No, no, that's grand. I, I tell you what, actually, uh, if you if you want to go outside and have a smoke or something, or relax for a moment, and then when we get stuff down, we'll do this all together just in case. Never been the main thing to keep me up all the last couple months. Uh, my strand program. <laughs> so in their words, I'm ready to be employed. Sorry. Yes. Because I, I, I was going to reach out to Mr. Johnson. I know he's retired now, but he is the contact. <laughs> I was looking to do the same thing, but it wasn't good. Yeah. Like, because Alex just walked up and said, uh, "Can I see some of my old teachers?" Because I thought it would show a really cool life. I'm with one of the best behaved students now. Who are you? So oh, was I was I. a terrible student, but Chris was like one of the best students that teachers had. As he just said, "Sir, are you <laughs> sure?" <laughs> 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 By the way, Michael, your ass is actually hanging out. Jesus Christ, I keep And don't worry, 
positive. Don't worry, I didn't film it. It's not my ass hanging out. It's actually my shirt's really too, hanging up too high. Dude, I've seen it. <laughs> Seeing what's on garden. There. What? A laptop? Yes. Was it a new laptop or something? Oh. Thought maybe if you had time, we preview. It's just doing that because it hasn't been rendered. Yes, I remember. I know this one. Okay, that is cool. Now, I won't be doing that there if it's rendered. That's all colour corrected, the shit as well. So, before we move on to some of the kit, I'll that, that, that is class, like, that really is. That's a good job, like. No worries. No, that's okay, that's yeah. Well, look, that's it's fine. fine. Uh, we'll get your kit laid out for you, so whenever you come back, we'll go through what it is then. Okay, for you. okay, thank you. But that's, that's the problem, yeah, you work away. Is that one there. Alright. Just, and just leave it in the, the gap. Okay. Do you want to end in the shop, Chris? Sorry? Do you want to end in the shop? Anything? No one. Tea okay. bag, sugar, milk, sweets, crisps. Yes, can, yes, can, yes, can. I will. Uh, I will see if they want something uh, in the shop. Like maybe, maybe grab a pack of biscuits. Uh, biscuits or something with sweets. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What about yourself? I'll say I'm fine. Okay. I'm heading to the shop, do you want anything? No, I'm good, I'm going to put some toast in it. I could ask for a bottle of coke. Yeah! I'll get you one back then. Oh, yeah. Ethan gave me, Ethan, yeah, I should say, Ethan gave me this here, so... Okay, oh, for all of us. I, I haven't had any breakfast, so that's alright. Yeah. Alright, I'll just get going then. <laughs> here, Captain. Oh my goodness! Did you go overboard or something? Yeah, I get the same thing, you have less stuff in your It's like if you go, you can see how much you've got. Whenever you go, you can see how much you've got. I'm going to have a battery phone. He doesn't take it, I will. <laughs> so I no worry. He's trying to follow you, then you just walk away from you know what he's trying to do. Oh no, no. Breakfast for me. Is there a room kit bag? No, you don't. Not alcohol, don't no worry. Yeah. All I have is a pack that I do not have. Oh, we do. Oh yeah, good, uh, good news, Captain. I finally tracked down the place that's got my trust fund. You have a work canteen, you'll have your tunic, you'll have your cup, helmet for most people, not heavy or light machine gunners, pay with webbing set, a strap which goes for your bag, you'll have a side bag, your entrenching tool, your large kit bag or baby bag, and then you will have your small pack, okay? Inside it you will keep your rations and personal effects, that means mess tins, cup, rain cape, uh, medical care, and then all the other wee bits of rations stuff you're going to be getting later today, okay? <laughs> yeah, human fertilizer! Yeah. We Webbing reduce, does not make yeah. crops. Reduce, Michael. We use this uniform. I own this uniform. Oh, sorry. But when you die, you don't own nothing. It don't matter. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice bro, it comes that you just take over property, yeah? Can we just use rubber bayonets? No. Uh, if you've got 50 pound, uh, times by four, two hundred quid. I'd be happy enough to get them for you. I don't have time to make rubber bennets. I know how to do them, and I can get the proxy resin rubberized one for like making like a uh, stunt man movie prop knives. Well, once I get my money, I'm definitely gonna get myself a proper, well, one of those, and then a rubber rifle so I can rub it in people. Bit.
Yeah, yeah you got your putties, you got your boots, you got your gas mask, you got your gloves, <laughs> jacket, webbing. I'm mean, actually practice taking this on and off. I'm dying, I was like, it's like I, I said, I'm good in a sec, I felt it, but if I had to take a sec. Yeah, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. All, right. okay. All depending on how much I get, though. Yeah. 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 I ain't a scare one. <laughs> Man, you don't even know what it looks like when mine a scar. What's that? Well, there's once I did it with this girl and then for the next few days all it was was itchy. Then it was, oh my god, I have to check this out. You, you missed said. Will I cut that out for you? <laughs> you want me to cut that? <laughs> oh my god, you were filming that. Yeah, will I cut that for you? <laughs> right. Don't keep it You're very careful what you say around me. <laughs> Plus, I'm kidding. You're a fucking man. Really? Yeah. You, <laughs> oh, so will I cut that out then? Keep it in. Yes. Well, I'll keep, keep it in. Keep it in. Uh, then why did you say you were kidding? Fine. <laughs> 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 See, Jimmy knew I don't give a shit. When I said so, I didn't care. Alright, uh, it was a joke, so it's fine. <laughs> Just re-quote what he said. Oh, he said that he was doing it with someone and he ended up itchy afterwards, so he ended up with crabs. So I cut out the part of Michael says I can keep the part I'm using. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you that's how you be an asshole. <laughs> we got it before we had our kid. And then my OG. Oh wait, no. No, this is my satchel. Oh, yeah, the other one is quite good. We'll use these squares. This is Chris. Michael, put your kit bag there. Three crits. One ammo box and two actual container crits, okay? One crit has the sidearms, one crit has all the ammunition and everything you need to make a weapon work, either batteries, gas, whatever. <coughs> I think that's about it. When you feel force, do not... You feel the like, pressure, pull, pull them back. You hold the weapon like this, that's why there's actually finger grips there. And then you put the rounds in, okay? And um, please bear in mind, do not look down the bloody barrel of the weapon. Yes. And I'm not saying that as a joke, I'm being really fucking serious. Because it's aerosol, people tend to think they can look down it because it's not dangerous. You'll blow your fucking eyeball out. Yeah. You really fucking will. Okay, so do be careful. Alright, and that's you. As soon as it is loaded, you'll be able to tell because the front, you will see white pellets. Okay. If you need to check if there's any ammunition in it, slightly hold the trigger. And that frees the cylinder so you can actually turn it and you can see if you have any rounds left. If you fire a couple off and you can't mind, okay? But do remember, if you've fired and you see a pellet there and you move it to there so you can fire it, it's not going to fire because you knew this, the cylinder automatically rotates. So make sure the cylinder is empty and the next one has the pellet because the time you pull the trigger, it actually fires. You need to be able to hit that target, okay? Now you don't need to do rapid fire. Because you just need to be able to hit the target, okay? This is about marksmanship, not speed. Because again, this is not a real SML, you cannot do the 60 rounds a minute, okay? Because you're going to break this. Because it is a toy. It is, okay? But also. Whenever you're cocking it, always try to make sure it's in your shoulder when you're cocking it. Because see, if you do this and pull the butt back, you're actually causing a lot of friction, okay? And be careful you don't double cock it, okay? So pull it completely back, forward, and down. And take your time, okay? Good thing I'm not using one of them. If you can hit that target or even slightly beside it, you're doing pretty good because that's small in a person. Yeah. The, the logic is aim small, like miss that small. Frame, essentially. Yeah. That frame, is a that frame is the perfect shape of so, between yeah. someone's shoulders. So if you're hitting in that, you're doing a pretty good job. But what if you're hitting slightly above it, then you're even better? No, because it's above the frame. 
<laughs> One just poofed at the front. <laughs> no battery's dead, not charged. There you go. That's, That's her firing cool. pretty well, though. I remember the last time <laughs> I was firing a green zone. It's cool, like, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Billy. Oh, Lord, Billy. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know how many rounds of fire. Just, just keep going until nothing comes out. That's three. There's two me in the chamber. That's three. There we go. Damn it. That Maybe. was pretty close. Pretty yeah. close. Do that would have hit people. Mm. So it's not like I could uh, recorrect it. If he hasn't shot a gun in you. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. the memories right. are finished. You're right. <laughs> and you will feel the kick off that. I'll try to get the safety in this one. I hope. Remember, you saw it, Michael. Did it hit? It did, yeah. Right. Who's next? So, okay, so we're gonna hold, yep, there, and then. Yep, Shoot okay, okay. That's a sick Yep. There's probably BB shot through the plastic. Um, just don't hit the big bolt on the front back, yeah. Might be a hand Yeah, isn't. You can. Bruno. Oh, good man. Did I hit it? Yeah, you did. Three shots, yeah, it wouldn't be enough for everybody to get one. Thank you. No, she's on safety. Don't shoot his hand now. What the fuck are you shaking for? <laughs> 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 he's just gonna see. He's like, yeah. He's <laughs> shot <laughs> CO2 <laughs> before. I have never, no wonder I kept jumping. I'll do that there just so I can. Off. Just don't hit the big hole because it'll bounce back us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everybody shoot, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. And then now he empties the mag. Nope, that's said empty. Oh. And yes, you're right. Uh, the ones who serve us in the shops will think we're getting ready for World War Three. <laughs> it's ready for us often. Or is it? Okay. Well, Yo, sit like that. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want me to video it? Please! <laughs> <laughs> I, told him, I told him to move over. <laughs> what the fuck? You just want me in the middle. Hey, yeah, right, you're ready to go skiing. Skiing? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I told you that one. <laughs> Did you catch it? Oh 
No, he didn't. I'm fine. Well, put your hand out again if you want. <laughs> Can you do me a favour? Can you beat Michael to death? <laughs> Enjoy your wank. What are you inbred fuckers doing? Michael insists. <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with me, don't worry. <laughs> right, so we walk in here, guns blazing. Somebody yep. robs the register. Well, we walk in here, baskets blazing. <laughs> fucking put it in now. <laughs> Swinging about. <laughs> oh, fucking basket, you yeah, kick. What? Are, <laughs> quick, run them over. Not even it, inside. Is it, is it you don't need to be aging to be closer to death. You just need to be with us. Come on. Yeah, something else. <laughs> Something similar. Yeah, anyway. outside, there's a podium in front. Nice, that is. Is it really gaming powder? I know, but then there's the bottle and there's whatever uh, ice wing from range. I know I don't have any tape to brush, so. Wait, who's in there? Jimmy's and ah, Chris's. Okay. Yeah. He's carried that there. With oh, he's got his stuff. Oh, he's got his stuff. Get in, get in, get in! <laughs> <laughs> Probably Do you like problem. me climbing over here? Oh, there is a step I can just get. <laughs> Glass bottles and rubber bands, yep. that's all we need for here now when we're ahead because Chris's dad's come from at 5.30. And that time's wrong before you look at it. <laughs> they go, we got paid. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's five past, past six past. I'm gonna push right. that guy and that. It's two minutes slow, and now like it's an hour slow. I want the ball to go. What do you think? You're trying to park in space. You stupid gadgets. Look at you and your the big Tuscan hybrid. I thought it said Tyson. <laughs> so we're back in Maz, from Maz down the range. We had to pick up uh, toiletries, uh, food, and crap for the event. And I'm gonna show you this. exactly. So Colgate wooden toothbrush, which is the same toothbrushes or close enough to what soldiers would have used in World War One, and toothpaste. Around here. Shit. Then spam. Really like to have what the soldiers from World War One would have had with them. Shampoo. These are all going to be going into our kit bags. And then Johnson's PB powder. Maybe in the war correspondent. I will not be shooting anybody anybody with uh, the airsoft guns. I will be photographing and filming them. And if I can, vlog in the arena. So this is today was us getting our supplies and we're just back from doing that there.